Hello class, it's Ms. Augustine again. So now that you've done the spectral lines lab, it's time to do the calculations that go with this lab. So first of all, let's recall our formulas. We have two formulas that we're going to be using. The first one, c, the speed of light, is equal to lambda, the wavelength, times nu, the frequency. Remembering that our c is a constant, 3 times 10 to the 8th, meters per second, and that E, the energy, is equal to H, Planck's constant, times nu, which is again the frequency. And Planck's constant is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds. So now we're ready to calculate some wavelengths and energies, actually some frequencies and energies. So first of all, if we look in our lab handout that you had when you did the lab, um, it looks like this. And so for number one, it says draw the entire bright line spectrum of hydrogen. And that's where you observed uh, the bulbs through the um, spectroscope. And then you copy down all of your lines here. There should have been four lines. So now we're ready to focus on the calculations. And you're given the red line in hydrogen has a wavelength of 656.0 nanometers. And that comes, if you look at your lab handout, from page two of the lab, there's a table. And so I've gone ahead and converted nanometers into meters. So it's 6.560 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. And what we're going to do is we've picked out the one line which was around here. And what we're going to do is we're going to first calculate the frequency of that line since we know its wavelength. And then we'll take the frequency that we calculated and calculate its energy. So let's jump in. So the red line in hydrogen has um, a wavelength that we just spoke about. So we're calculating its frequency. The wavelength, as I said, is 656.0 nanometers which is 6.560 times 10 to the minus 7 meter. Now, point out right here how many sig figs are in this number. Trailing zeros are always significant if the number contains a decimal. So this has four sig figs. So now we can go and plug in. So what I've done here is I've rearranged our equation so that we're solving for frequency. And frequency is going to be equal to c, the speed of light, divided by wavelength, lambda. And then I've plugged in our speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And then I've plugged in this number right here for wavelength. And then I plug that into my calculator. And I have to remember to cancel out meters divided by meters. And the number you get in your calculator has a whole bunch of digits, 4.573170. 77 and some more, times 10 to the 14th, 1 over seconds. So now I need to round to the correct number of significant figures, 1, 2, 3. The fourth significant digit is this 3. So when I do that, I have a frequency is equal to 4.573 times 10 to the 14th inverse seconds, or 1 over seconds. So now we've done the first part of that calculation. And you can pause this video if you need to and copy this down in number one on your lab handout. So now you know how to calculate the frequency. And then for the next slide, we're going to calculate the energy using this number for frequency. So here goes. Again, we're still on the red line in hydrogen. And now we're calculating the energy. And so we're going to remember that the frequency that we just calculated was 4. 0.573 times 10 to the 14th, 1 over seconds, and that our Planck's constant h is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds, and then our equation is E equals h times nu, where h is the Planck's constant and nu is the frequency, and then we've got to plug it in, so E is equal to here's Planck's constant times Here's that frequency. I know the numbers are weird, but we're just plugging numbers into an equation. And so then we're going to cancel out seconds times 1 over seconds goes away. 
And so now we have our E, and when we plug it into our calculator, it comes out to 3.031899 times 10 to the minus 19th joules, remembering that minus 10 to the minus 34 times 10 to the 14th, what you do is you add them together, and that comes out to around 10 to the minus 20th, which is correct because it ends up as 10 to the minus 19. And now our number had four significant digits, so we're going to have to round to one, two, three, four significant digits, which is the one, and since the number immediately following it is an eight, we're going to have to round it up to a two, so that means our energy is going to be 3.032 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. This number has four significant figures, and we're all good to go. If you need to pause the video here, please pause it so that you can copy this down into your lab handout. And now you are ready to complete the rest of these calculations. There's three more. You're going to do the shortest green line in neon, and you're going to do the violet line in helium, and the green line in mercury. If you need to replay this video and pause it here and there, feel free to do that, and uh, please spend the rest of the period working on these calculations. And if you haven't finished the two energy calculation uh, worksheet pages, you can work on those when you're done with this. This is Ms. Augustine signing out, reminding you all that I miss you very much, and that I'm hoping that on Thursday when I go to see my doctor, that he x-rays my shoulder and says, it's looking good, and I will be back in school on Friday because I am really maxed out on making videos, and I really miss you guys very much. Um, I hope to see you soon. This is Ms. Augustine signing out.